It's Tuesday, October 13th, 2009. This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline, bringing you aquatic sports news from around the world. Australia's Liesl Jones is sick and she's going to miss the first round of the FINA World Cup, according to Swimming Australia. The World Cup starts Friday in Durban, South Africa, and some of the other top Aussies will be there, including Ashley Delaney, Felicity Galvez, and Marika Gare, who was the top female in last year's World Cup circuit. Jones's coach, Rowan Taylor, said the Olympic champion should be back in the water in time for the second stop on the tour, which is in Moscow on November 6th. Universal Sports is streaming the meet in Durban on universalsports.com, and we will have recaps of each night's finals on swim swimmingworld.com. Well, the world swimming community is joining Italy in mourning the death of national head coach Alberto Castagnetti, who died in his home Monday shortly after having heart surgery. Castagnetti had been Italy's national team coach since 1987, and he led three of the most famous Italian swimmers to international acclaim in that time. He coached Giorgio Lamberti to the world record in the men's 200 free in 1989, which was the first world record for an Italian. In 2000, uh, Domenico Fiar Avanti won both breaststroke events at the Sydney Olympics, and Castagnetti most recently was a guiding force for Federica Pellegrini. He was also one of the first to speak out against the high-tech suits in 2008, calling them technological doping. Castagnetti was 66. Back here in the United States, Coughlin, she was in a tie for the fourth highest score from the judges in last night's Dancing with the Stars competition. Natalie did not get the same praise for her bolero that you see here as she did for her rumba last week, but the scores and viewer votes should be enough to keep her around for at least one more week. We'll find out for sure on tonight's results show. And that's it for the news today. Be sure to check out the morning swim show tomorrow. Garrett McCaffrey and John Lone are going to join me to talk some college swimming. Until then, I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.